It is time now for the Peter Channel Sign Up News Report for this early Monday morning, December 8, 2014. Earned just before the Peter Channel concludes its podcast day, a summary of late night news runs up for this early Monday morning, December 8, 2014. Peter J. Wiggins reporting here on your news, and I'm there. And our top story at 12.08 here on this early Monday morning here is House Intelligence Chairman Rogers. As Rupert will spur attacks in Istanbul for 18 months, a group of civilians in South Africa worked to accomplish what their government has been unable to do with negotiated release of a South African couple held by Al Qaeda in the lawless desert of southern Yemen. It was 73 years ago, but Air Javanil still remembers that a Japanese plane's bombing in Pearl Harbor as a Queen's veteran was just 18 years old, perfect first class wedding. Reading the Honolulu advertiser in the Desbunk on Oh, how on December 7, 1941, as veterans honored 73rd anniversary of the Pearl Harbor attack. China's trade surplus soared in November to hit a record as a steeply falling price of oil, iron ore, and other commodities reduced the cost of imports and even as China's exports have continued to capture a growing share of the world markets. After nine years in status and route to the number out of limits of the solar system, NASA's new horizon spacecraft has been woken up in preparation for its Pluto survey. Residents cleaned their homes after strong waves from Typhoon Hagabit that battered their coastal village in Legaspai, Albay Province, Eastern Philippines on Monday as residents began trickling back to their homes after the local government said the typhoon warning was over. Israeli warplanes bombed two areas near Damascus on Sunday, striking the city's international airport as well as outside the town close to the Lebanese border, the Syrian military said. In Washington, the Middle East peace talks collapsed earlier this year because the Palestinians did not want them to continue Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said. Pentagon says six Guantanamo Bay detainees transferred to Uruguay. The alleged rape of a young woman on the night of Friday on New Delhi has raised some questions about how Uber screens recruits and trains its drivers in India. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge arrived in New York City on Sunday night and were greeted by 200 royal watchers outside the Cardinal Hotel. Police say a motorized vehicle has struck and killed a black bear on the road near the Everglades, and three others have gone into the woman's name were struck and killed by another vehicle in the Florida Everglades. I'm in one of the more lighthearted environments you could possibly hope to find inside of an American hotel. A pretty scary incident went down Sunday. Claiming guests at the Midwest Fair Fest convention also had 19 people in their 40s said, Now believe that. In Oakland, California, New York, U.S. West Coast cities have braced for trouble on Sunday after 9 o'clock shows in Berkeley, California, and Seattle as fresh protests started against police bounce over the death of a black man who was put in a choke hole last summer. China's November trade data weaker than expected as dollar hubs near a seven year high versus yen. U.S. crude oil slips down towards five year trail. Offshore lending in U.S. dollars is soared to 9 trillion pounds and poses a growing risk to both emerging markets and the world's financial stability. Bank of International Settlements are warned. North Korea denies hacking Sony Pictures about that gives the perpetrators an attaboy. North Korea on Sunday denied responsibility for the hacking of computer Sony Pictures but appeared to be relish that cyber attack that crippled the computer system. The NSA has conducted a convert campaign to intercept internal communication operators and trade groups and other inflate trade mobile networks worldwide according to the latest revelations on documents supplied by Edward Snowden. A research main on the Aspen Ops in the West End, Dr. Keith Lomarin, that the climatologist has a research study between and became the part of the Geophysical Research Letter Journal. That is a document from Albert Einstein will be released online. Our doctor had contracted Ebola while treating patients in Sierra Leone when it was evacuated to the United States for a care in September, revealed his identity in a report published on Sunday. London, male smokers are three times more likely than non smoker men to lose their white chromosomes, according to the research when they mainly explain. Why men developing a diet for many cancers at this proportion compared to women? <sighs> Holyoke, Massachusetts. Police in Holyoke are searching for two suspects involved in an armed home invasion. It happened around 610 Sunday night at an apartment on Hamden Street. In Chickabee, Massachusetts, police are at scene on Center Street for a reported robbery. Call came in about 9.12 p.m. Clerk reports a white male, 6 inches tall, white hoodie, and red banana with jeans, 
No weapon shown, no officer, so search area in a state place, canine is on route. Please board this area, especially foot to the canine search. If you say someone met the description, please call the police department. And New Bedford, Massachusetts, two car, motor vehicle accident, Kings Highway, and a pole snap, and New Bedford Police Department reported three entries, which are dead. Peter Challenger is on 12 13 year on this early Monday morning, December 8, 2014, and it is. I'm now for the little travel reporter and it's smooth sailing on highways by with the New England. There. Okay, let's take a look at a weather situation here at 1214. In day one tonight, has a weather not expected time in day two for seven, Monday for Saturday. On Monday, there will be a risk that ocean effects, snow showers could result in light accumulation across the eastern Massachusetts and portions of the Cape Cod. Any storm amounts will be light, but could result in some slippery travel for the Monday morning commute. As in addition, there will be a low risk of freezing drizzle. Monday night, and I come that a strong coastal storm will impact. Our region Tuesday and Tuesday evening, the main concerns of its fall. Heavy rain may result in some urban and port drain street flooding on Tuesday and Tuesday evening. It's going to affect the late day commute. Strong to east winds of 40 to 55 miles per expected along the eastern Massachusetts, including Cape Cod and the Islands, and Cape Ann and Tuesday, Tuesday evening could be damaging at times. There will be potential for at least some minor coastal flooding and beach erosion along the eastern Massachusetts coast during the midday and high tide cycle Tuesday. And a little tomorrow probably for some accumulation still along with sleet and freeze rain on Tuesday morning and the Afternoon across Western Massachusetts here. Okay, seven day forecast of close like this. Overnight, slight like temperature showers of snow after four and more park class clouds with a lower than 19 degrees in North Mark. 11 miles class size, 26 miles by church base to 2010. Monday, a chance of snow showers and freezing and drizzle before noon. Then a chance of rain and snow showers between noon and 2 p.m. Then a chance of drizzle. Snow shots will sleep after 2 p.m. Most of the guys got to have about 35 degrees. Enough is for 9 miles by the size, 25 miles by the church page, and 20 percent. For my night, chance of drizzle, snow, and sleep before 9 p.m. And a chance of rain and snow between 9 p.m. and 2 a.m. Then a chance of rain after 2 a.m. Class got low about 32 degrees in the northeast part, 68 miles by the church page, and 40 percent. Little no circulation and sleet accumulation expected on Tuesday. Rain, the rain can be heavy times, 150 degrees. Northeast will about 96 miles by the size, 42 miles by the church page, and 9 percent. New place for match between the 1 and 2 inches possible. For Tuesday night, rain likely mainly before 2 a.m. in most of Gascar, World of 1. 40 degrees and north-east warm up, 5 to 9 miles of Gascar, 24 miles by chest page to 70%. Wednesday, a chest of showers in most of Gascar, about 40 low, about 33 degrees and chest page to 40%. Thursday, put sand in most of Gascar, about 42 low, about 30 degrees. And for Friday, put sand in about 43 degrees with Park Gascar, about low, about 31 degrees for Friday Saturday, most of the sand in Park Gascar, about 45 low, about 33 degrees for Sunday, most of the sand in about 45 degrees. Not temperature, 27 degrees overcast sky. So that's going to be for the period channel. Sign up news for the next December 8, 2014. And early morning, more people can get it. And good morning. And right, now the time now. 17 minutes after midnight in the morning time. And it's early Monday morning here. And the period channel is going to include its broadcast activities for the night here. And now on the behalf of the period channel, Norton, Peter Wiggins, and good night. And good morning. Okay.